Hi, my name is Trevor, and I'm the author of Kid Del Toro. Kid Del Toro is about a kid who loves monsters, and one night he actually meets one. Today we're going to be reading this in both English and Spanish. Kid Del Toro, written by Chogren, art by Pacoto, published by Little Libros. Dedicated to all the strange kids who love monsters, wherever you may be. Guillermo was a special kid. He liked to stay at home with his books. He read about insects, the paranormal, but especially about monsters. Guillermo era un niño especial. Lo que más le gustaba era quedarse en casa con sus libros. Le gustaba leer sobre insectos y cosas paranormales. Pero sobre todo le gustaba leer sobre monstruos. Guillermo loved monsters so much that he often dressed up as one. Frankenstein's monster was his favorite. Guillermo amaba tanto a los monstruos que a menudo se vestía como uno. Su favorito era el monstruo de Frankenstein. What he didn't like was when Abuela would send him to bed. Those books will give you nightmares she'd say. Lo que no le gustaba era cuando abuela lo mandaba a dormir. Esos libros te darán pesadillas, le decía ella. In his room, Guillermo was restless. All he could think about were his monster books. No problem, he thought. He would sneak out as usual to get them. En su cuarto, Guillermo estaba inquieto. Solo podía pensar en sus libros de monstruos. No hay problema, pensó. Se escabullaría como siempre para conseguirlos. But when Guillermo was about to get out of bed, he saw something. It came from behind the sofa. It was a... Pero cuando Guillermo estaba a punto de bajarse de su cama, vio algo. Estaba detrás del sofá. Era un... Monster! It had horns, red eyes, and it was coming to eat him. Monstro tenía cuernos, ojos rojos, y se lo iba a comer. Guillermo was so scared that he screamed. Poor Guillermo. Guillermo estaba tan asustado que gritó. Pobre Guillermo. Suddenly, a noise stirred in the house. Something that scared him even more than monsters. It was... De repente, se oyó un ruido en la casa. Algo que le asustaba aún más que los monstruos. Era Abuela, and she was angry. Abuela, y estaba enojada. I told you those books would give you nightmares, said Abuela. Go back to sleep or I'll throw those books away. Te dije que esos libros te darían pesadillas, dijo Abuela. Vete a dormir o botaré esos libros. The following night, Guillermo was determined to face the monster so he could read his books in peace. La noche siguiente, Guillermo estaba decidido a enfrentarse al monstruo para poder leer sus libros en paz. But when the monster appeared again, something had changed. Its eyes were no longer red. It even seemed friendly. Pero cuando el monstruo apareció de nuevo, algo había cambiado. Sus ojos ya no eran rojos. De hecho, parecía amigable. So friendly, in fact, that it shook Guillermo's hand. That night, Guillermo made a promise to the monster that if it wouldn't scare him at night, he would be its friend forever. Tan amigable que le dio la mano a Guillermo. Esa noche, Guillermo le hizo al monstruo una promesa. Le prometió que si no lo asustaba de noche, sería su amigo para siempre. And from that night on, they would do everything together, from baking cookies, y a partir de esa noche, harían todo juntos, poniendo galletas, and making movies, y filmando películas, to tucking Guillermo into bed, y hasta arropando a Guillermo en su cama. Even Abuela noticed something in Guillermo had changed. Incluso Abuela notó que algo había cambiado en Guillermo. Now Guillermo didn't just read about monsters, they were also his friends. 
Ahora Guillermo no solo leía sobre monstruos, también eran sus amigos. The end. Fin.